guys, so sorry I've been gone for so long, um, but I hope you forgive me. I will be doing a wallet tutorial today, and this one has not been requested, but I thought it would be a fun tutorial anyway. So, um, I recently just learned out, learned how to create a woman's wallet in about, probably about 30 minutes, and it's really super simple super fun to do and I really really enjoy making these and a lot of these are really popular like people buy these out from me whenever I get them whenever I buy um, whenever I make them sorry um, but whenever I make them they always buy them from me and so I figure I will show you how to make a basic woman's wallet so they're really really nice Alright, so first of all, you will need two colors, one for the billfold and for the pocket color, and then one for the wallet color and for the trim color. Now, you can do this whatever, however you want. You don't have to do it like I just told you. To start out, sorry, here's this string. Okay, to start out, you're going to want um, four, pieces, four pieces of tape. To, for the wallet size, my wallet size is um, about nine inches almost, and that's that's my regular wallet size. So if you just want to, you can just measure one of your regular wallets. And here, let me cut that because it's all frayed. And um, can probably make about three women's wallets, maybe four, out of one roll of tape. So unless you get the big um, duct tape, like just normal colored. So just letting you know. So you will need four pieces of that, unless you want to make the wallet differently. You know, um, just do one giant sheet of it. But I think that's a little bit harder. So you can do it however you want, but I don't know. It's just a little bit harder to work with for me. I just like doing two wallets and then putting them together. So that's pretty much what you're going to do. Just go ahead and make the basic two wallets. All right, so if you can see, I have this, and this is just a sheet of duct tape that I made by putting four strips on the front and four strips on the back, um, sticky to sticky. Just do that twice to make the wallet, and then we will. I will show you how to do and um, the pockets and kind of attach the pockets a little bit. So, um, so I forgot to show you how to do this, but all I did was I took and I opened up. I took the two sheets that I had made. I made two of them, and then I left about that much room in the middle, and then I put a piece of tape on top of that, and so of course. On the other side, it is still um, a little bit sticky, so I will just take and I will cut it, and then I will show you how to do the back. So the back, as you can see, it will look like this. Go ahead and take your um, your behind, supposed to be there, and put a piece right on top of that. Okay making the exact size for a one block. And then I'm going to take this giant sheet and flip it over and then flip it over. And then you can kind of see how big your one block is going to be. Alright, so sorry it was all blurry. Um but now we're going to take our card and you're just going to take and I don't know if you can see this but I'm just going to cut straight down. Here, I'll do one over here. Take your card, straight there, and then cut straight down. Same with the last one. And then make, um, make four more lines of this for six pockets. So make eight lines, um, cut eight, um, eight lines about eleven and a half inches long. So just keep doing that and keep cutting them and then I will show you how to put Alright guys, so here let me just Yeah. 
Okay. So that was weird. I was I sound weird. Okay. Anyway, so um I got twelve pockets done. And if you don't know how to do pockets, you just you know, I just showed you how to do them really and then you just sticky to sticky. And so all you're going to do is you're going to take Alright, so now we're just going to do the trimming. So all you do is you take two ooh, how many strips am I gonna need? I'm gonna need six strips because if I'm making twelve pockets. Here we go. Uh, oops, sorry. One second. There we go. Okay, here's five, and here's my last strip that I need. Then I'm going to need four more strips. So, yeah, this is going to be a problem, but whatever. I'll probably have just enough, maybe a little, little less. Because if you can see, actually I'm going to make sure I have enough. See, look, I'm about to run out. Okay, it's not good. Okay, so I made it, but you're going to need to cut all of these in half. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to line it. Oh, that's my blade. You're just going to line it up with the strip. Make sure it's even. It looks like way too thin. If you can see that, that's really terrible. Okay. So just line it up with this. And then take it and fold it over. Alright, so... Now I am attaching the pockets, and um, they're really, really simple to attach. Um, you can't really tell, but that's a pocket right there. That's the trimming. You can't really, because it kind of blends in. But, um, yeah. So, just take one of your pockets. I, I have 12 of them, so it's just like this big pile of them right there. But, um, just put it down. Make sure it's straight. Take one strip of tape. Take one strip of tape, make sure it's straight again, take and tape down. Then repeat the process and I will show you how to do one more. So just take it and with the bottom you're going to want the same color tape just because you will be folding it over. Oops, a little bit uneven. There we go. Okay, then fold over, and then repeat the process here, here, and here. And then you made them slanted for one second. Make them as straight as possible. That one's a lot better. And then do the same with this one. Okay. Then do the same with this side. And let me see how much time I have left. I still have six minutes left. That means I have time to show you how to do the bows. So take this. Let's see. This one. Yeah. Put it on there like that. Make sure it's straight. And then do the same for this side. Okay, then take um this blade is about to fall off. So one second. There we go. Goodness. Okay. Take and cut the pockets here too. And then make sure you cut this or fold it behind. I would just, um, 
I'm just gonna cut mine off. Because I don't want it to, um, I don't know, it's just kind of annoying. Do the same with this side. And then cut, cut, cut. Oops. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's not working. There we go. Cut. So. There we go. And now. Just one more step, I mean, it's really simple. You're just going to take, ooh, ooh, sorry, my phone fell on my scissors. Ooh. Take your exacto and just cut that off and then cut it off again as close as you can get. Same with this side. And there you go nice woman's wallet. Actually, I don't like this one part. So, I'm just going to touch it up and then I'll show you how it looks. Alright. I'll cheat. Okay. So, um, if you can see, well, there's black up there. I see two. And I ran out of pink. So, a little bit mad about that because of there's going to be this weird line of black, but I think it actually looks a little bit professional. Okay? Okay. So, um, this is just some extra I had. I'm just going to put that over there for now. But, um, right now I'll just show you how to do that if you do run out of tape. So, but this is also, this also goes for if you didn't run out of tape. So, like, let's say you didn't run out of tape. This is what you would use with that pattern. So, you just take it and place it on your pocket evenly. And I know, you're probably like, wow, that's really thick. And I know it is a little bit thick. I won't be using that much. I'm just cutting. Okay. So that's how much you'll need. And then you can rip it off since you know how much you need now. And I don't know why I did that. You can just place your tape up against it. But I did it like that. So. Okay. Put it on there like that. Then. Take it and place it over. And then what I did was I just took it and I just cut like that. And it won't cut the wallet, trust me. And then find the place where you just cut and, oops, and cut it the same way. Okay? So once you so then on the inside, if you can see, I cut this side. I cut pockets with that. Now we're gonna do that on this side too. I don't know if you can see, but I'm just taking and cutting the pockets so it'll open up all the way. And if you want, you can um, cut it off a little bit more. I'm fine with the way it looks right now, so it doesn't really matter for me. Now, just take um, more tape, two more strips of tape, and we're almost done. I'm excited. So, take two more strips of tape. About that size, probably. And then take, cut it in half. Then take your pocket area, and we're just going to be closing in the pockets. So go like that. So here's the wallet. Looks awesome. Like that on the outside. And this little piece of tape right there. So, um, I'm trying to figure out what to do to the outside of it. So, if you have any suggestions what to do, 
Um, just leave them below. And yeah, if you would like to purchase any of these, please PM me. Or I will leave my Etsy link below where you can buy other duct tape products made by me. Thank you for watching.